Hi, my name is Cindy Rang with the Fabric Patch in Ephrata, Washington. You can find us at fabricpatch.net. The Wednesday before Thanksgiving is always known as Tie One On Day, not because of partying and drinking, but to tie on an apron because that's when we're going to do all of our baking and cooking for Thanksgiving. So I'm going to show you how to make three different aprons in under five minutes. Okay, first for a lined adult apron, you're going to start with two one yard pieces of fabric in whatever colors you'd like. For your outside and your lining, you're going to need two pieces that are 36 by 25. If this is directional fabric, you would have the opportunity to cut it either way you need. After you've cut your two pieces out, you'll have some leftover fabric. Decide what you'd like to make your ties out of and go ahead and cut three two inch strips. Once you've cut your three two inch strips, sew these together end to end. Once you've sewn it together, you're going to press your seam open and you're going to turn this into your tie by pressing it over wrong sides together to give it a good press. You fold it into the press, fold it into the press, fold it over again, and sew this down. Do this the entire length. It'll be longer than you need, but you can shorten it afterwards. Determine which of your fabrics is going to be the outside and which is going to be the lining. What you'll do is open these up, put them right sides together, And now I'm going to go to the sewing machine. I'm going to leave a space, probably six to seven inches, and I'm going to sew all the way around, leaving this space so I can turn the whole thing right side out. Okay, I've sewn right sides together. You do want to back stitch before you sew all the way around and back stitch again. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn the whole thing right side out. After I've turned it right side out, I'm going to poke out all of my corners and I'm going to top stitch all the way around and I'll be right back. Okay, while I top stitched around the whole thing, I also sewed up that little hole from turning. Now what's going to happen is that one end is going to be my pocket. I'm just going to go ahead and pull that up and generally I think that six inches is about the right amount. After I've come up my six inches, I'm going to sew right here and I'm going to sew at least one stitch right down the center so that I have two big pockets. You might want to sew a second and maybe even a third seam. Just make sure that you backstitch if you'd like to have four pockets. Then up at the top, what we're going to do is we're going to flip the whole thing over. I've pressed a little seam so that I know right where the center of my apron is. I'm going to bring this one to the tip, this one to the tip, right into the center, and I'm going to just hand stitch that together. Then I'm going to come over with my ruler and using an appropriate marker, I'm going to mark a one inch seam here. and one inch here, and I'm going to top sew. Once I've stitched these together and I've sewn that seam, I can go ahead and take my tie and I can string it through the casing that was created on that side, come all the way around the top and the casing on this one. That gives me my nice little ties. Once I've threaded it all the way through, go ahead and just tie a big knot in both ends so that it doesn't pull back through. And this is your super quick apron with a pocket. I want to show you a child's size. For a child's size, instead of two one yard cuts, you're just going to do it with two fat quarters. You can see that this particular fabric really is quite directional. And so just like the other one, we could either go this way or on this particular one, we're going to go this way because we only need 16 inches. 
Once we've cut our 16 inches, we're going to use our other piece to cut our three strips so that we do it the exact same way. Right sides together, turn it right side out, top stitch all the way around, fold this over, stitch these together here, make your little casing, sew your pieces together, and you have a nice little apron, perfect for somebody little who wants to help in the kitchen. I'm going to show you about a pocket. I have a Dunrovin towel that I've done the exact same thing to. I'm just going to go ahead and also mark my little mark, make my little casing, and maybe I have a really cool panel that I just want to cut a block out of. I'm going to take that block, sew right sides together with another fabric, leaving the bottom open. I'm going to turn this right side out. The best thing to get all of your corners out is your purple thing. It not only will poke things out, it's a nice bodkin for threading things through and it also is heat resistant. Decide where you'd like your pocket, but remember you're going to lose a little bit at the bottom because all you're going to do is flip this forward, sew across the bottom right here, flip it up, give it a little press, top stitch across the side, the bottom, and up to the top. Make sure you've back stitched on both sides and that's how you attach a pocket. Whether it's a decorative po pocket from a block that you'd like or coordinating fabric. All right, whether it's two one yard pieces of fabric for an adult apron, two fat quarters of fabric for a child's apron, or a quick Dunrovin towel and a cute block, you can make a really fast apron for a tie one on today. And if you like any of these fabrics or you want other tips and tricks, go ahead and visit us at fabricpatch.net. Two last things, yes, I do pre-wash my fabric anytime I do anything for a wearable. And number two, my seam allowance is always a quarter inch seam allowance. Even though it's a wearable, it's just what my machine likes to do. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching our video. We invite you to leave a comment, hit the like button, or better yet, subscribe to our channel so you never miss an episode. You can also visit our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Pinterest pages, or find all of those things and our online store at fabricpatch.net.